So let's just go into what the NLA editor actually is. So the way Blend puts it, uh, the NLL, NLA editor, short for a nonlinear animation, can manipulate and repurpose actions without the tedium of handling keyframes. It is often used to make broad, significant changes to a scene's animation with relative ease. It can also repurpose, chain together a sequence of, of motions and layer actions, which makes it easier to organize and version control your animation. So here is the NLA editor. Now this is probably something you've definitely used in another application, whether it be something like Sony Vegas, where here we manipulate audio and video to make a short or um, just put videos together, or even a music making application. This is something that we've at least all come to use at least once. Um, the NLA editor is no different. Um, just the thing is, is we're going to go through the process of create actions and plan our actions so that we can blend them all together to make something to make a short. So if I press Alt A, and this is just something only using the action editor. And here I can create a real short clip of, what are we at? 360 frames. So about 16 seconds worth of footage I can make just using the action ed editor. So I didn't have to keyframe anything. I've done the pre-work and now I'm just building my animation. Now I just want to go into a little bit more depth about what an actual action is. So by default, this is our view when we're in the animation tab. So I've got my rig. If I press a keyframe, I have now set all my keyframes for this body. What we need to be careful of though, is what are we actually going to create? So for instance, I just want him to lift up his arm and hold it there for a little bit and then bring it back down. So we've set the keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 10, let's say, uh, press R to rotate that one and select right click select R to rotate. And because I've already set recording on down the bottom and I've set what I'm recording, it automatically puts in those keyframes. So let's, if we just watch this, let's see him just putting his arm. I think I might just go G5. Let's just increase that a little bit. Nah, that looks stupid. So I'm going to put the cursor up here. G to move, minus 5. We'll put it back to 10. So this is all we have. Okay, and that's, that's the whole action. I just want that to be one action. Now we've got all these keyframes here that we don't need. So for instance, the body doesn't move, so we can delete them. Master, let's just all the way down here. Let's just select all these. Oh, come on. Delete. What we actually might do is using the uh, animation principles. So I'm just going to go past it a little bit. I'm just going to bring it back down. Okay. Now I'm going to go change it from the dope sheet over to the action editor. So these are the two bones that we've animated. I'm now going to call this action Dane underscore arm up. That's all it is. And enter. I'm going to press F to save it. To the actual blend file and then I'm going to click I can either stash it and not put it in the NLA editor automatically or I can press push down and that'll bring it down to the L NLA editor so let's go into using the NLA editor so just like when we're modeling and creating meshes we put our cursor over the window shift a and then we're going to press we're going to select our action. So for instance, I'm going to select the walk cycle. 
Now the problem is, is I haven't got a track selected. So I'm just going to click the track, Shift A, and I'm going to do, put the walk cycle in. Now I right click and select it, and now we've got a list of options here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to put in the auto blend in, blend out. And so what this happens is when we're overlapping other actions, it'll actually blend into that, that other action, but we'll discuss that soon. The other thing I want to do is I want to repeat this walk cycle four times. So at the moment, it's a very short walk cycle. That's it. It's one loop of 24 frames. So I'm going to repeat it by four. And so now we've got a walking chap. Good job, Dane. And I want him from here. I want him to just stand and just not do anything. So I'm going to just probably about here. I'm going to add one. Shift A. And I want standing. I'm going to right click. So at the moment, you can see it just kind of snaps to this pose. But we want it to blend into it. So this is where that blend function comes in. So I right click on the Dane standing, auto blend in and out, and now we can see those lines are showing how much they're blending. So now, now as he walks in, he just stands up, and he kind of just does a, just a bit of a nothing. You know, just moving his arms slightly, his body slightly. Um, from here, maybe what we might do is put in a beard scratch up. So, because this, we've already selected the auto blend in and out here, let's select this one as well. So, he's kind of got the scratch. And what else I can do is, his arm only stays up now. But what I can do is I can go uh, shift, or I can right click, shift D to duplicate and I can move it around. I'm going to right click on that one. I can now reverse it. So it means now, puts his arm up, scratches, and then he puts his arm down. And then how about he just goes for a nice walk. Shift D and put it like that. Now, this is, so now we've broken here and here, this blend. So if we want to blend these files, they need to be sitting right next to each other, vertically. So I'm going to select 04 track, delete that one, and just move it left and right, just to re-link everything. And now we've got him all together. And if I press play, walking, Walking, and then he just goes into a stand. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, I, I like the way you think, but yes, I'll follow you. And he goes off into a walk. So what we can do here as well is let's end in a whole nother area. Something that's not even affected by these bones. I'm just going to do a shift A. I'm going to put in a Dane blink, which I completely spelt wrong. Let's put up the top. I'm just going to select it there, Shift D, Shift D, yeah, let's put a few blinks in. And so, if we look at this walk cycle, and I can easily edit it, the walk cycle, come up here and select Dane walk cycle, I can see that there is no eye control. But if I were to put an arm control in here, um, these two would be conflicting each other. So let's actually, let's actually go through that. So I'm going to clear that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a walk, another walk cycle, but I'm going to offset it. And let's just put it in three times. So he's kind of going to be walking, <coughs> excuse me, out of sync. And you will make this very apparent when I lied. So the top line has priority. Um, so whatever action is the highest will be the overarching winner. 
Um, but if I kind of, let me just add in another track by doing Shift A, that's slightly annoying. And then I can't move it down. Let's move this one up a little bit. And let's have, oh my goodness. Let me just, I've done a complete wonky. So if we put these next to each other, come on. Yeah, so he's got like a really weird walk because they're um, conflicting each other. So that's just being something to be mindful. But that is just a really easy way of using the NLA editor. And you can see how quickly we made the 16, 15 seconds of animation without really doing anything.